Hey guys, welcome back to Rich Mindset with another amazing premiere. Today here with me on an amazing Friday, ready to talk about one of the most important things in the world. Um, and this topic, it's I can't stre stress enough how important it is. You know why? Because really simple to put this in a really, really simple way so anybody can understand. Uh, after all the experience that I had in the last, uh, let's say, 10 years, gathered together, uh, meeting uh, people that had no money, meeting people uh, from the middle class, and of course, meeting people with a lot of money in the pocket, I understand uh, one thing, it is all about you. And why I'm saying this is very simple, is because it doesn't matter how um, unprepared you think you are, it doesn't matter how uh, few uh, things you know how to do, it doesn't matter how uh, bad your school was or you have no school, it doesn't matter that you're small or big, uh, black and white uh, or yellow from my opinion, it doesn't matter all of this because it's all about you. You can make it possible. One of the most amazing experiences that I went through was just last week when I uh, traveled to Sierra Leone uh, in business purposes. Uh, and I got to, to see another way of living. I got to, um, this experience changed my life. Let's, let's put it like this directly. Everything that happens there is totally different from Europe. Uh, people have nothing to eat, most of them. Uh, only a few amount of people have, have money in that, uh, in that uh, country. Uh, and this, those who do always stay away from the normal society because the normal society is chaos no rules um, apply no nowhere, money basically doesn't exist there uh, at, at a low level and people do anything to survive. Why I'm telling you this is because um, although all of this happens there, uh, I manage uh, to see and to meet people that uh, started from the bottom and when I say bottom I don't meet our bottom, okay, I mean real bottom, uh, and made it um, in a higher circle of people, made it, uh, managed to change their mindset, uh, understood what respect is, um, they understood how to talk to other people, uh, and you will see it in, in the next vlog for sure. I'm telling you this because um, it will change your perspective on life and will make you understand these words that I'm telling you right now. It's all about you, uh, how true they are, okay? Um, I will give you a couple of examples by name. Uh, Abdullah, Sasko, Ahmed, uh, Stanley. They are people who had nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. And although they started from the absolute bottom, uh, now they smile, now they're happy, the, the jobs they have pay them well. Uh, their owner is an amazing guy, uh, the owner of the company, sorry, it's an amazing guy. Uh, and I can stress enough to, uh, to make you understand uh, how much everything depends only on you. Unfortunately, uh, most of the people that I, I met um, the next uh, 10 years, let's say like this, uh, always, always found excuses or other people or other situation or other institutions to blame. Either that was politic, either that was, um, I don't know, friends, family, uh, that was the market crash, crisis and stuff like this. Um, I think I met one or two people in, in, in the last 10 years that actually uh, took the responsibility of assuming it's their own fault, the situation uh, they were in, okay? Uh, and this is why, uh, before going to Sierra Leone, uh, it was for me like a habit of, of accepting their excuses. Not as my own, I didn't took as, as my own these excuses, don't understand, understand me poorly. But when the conversation started and they said it's not my fault and stuff like this, I was absolutely tired of trying to make them understand uh, that is not true. 
I just uh, gave up on, on trying to explain them. There's a better way. Uh, I, I, I gave up trying to, to, um, to make them understand that the power is truly in their own hands and they can change their lives and they can change their businesses and they can uh, um, achieve their dreams as long as they do something about it, you know? But after going to Sierra Leone and meeting these guys and, and learning a lot, a, a lot for them, I, I can tell you one thing. It doesn't matter where you are. This time I really mean it, so from the bottom of my heart, that you are in Sierra Leone, Africa, or I don't know what city I never heard of, if, if you truly desire, you can change your life. There is nothing that can stop you. There is nothing that, uh, that can be used as an excuse. Uh, there is nothing uh, that can make you um, not appreciate life, because at the end, the basic uh, rule and, and lesson is this one, because Actually, the true topic of this of this um, of this uh, premiere is exactly this: the way that we appreciate life. I understood maybe the most important thing in my life that 99 of the excuses that uh, I hear every single day and I heard in the last uh, couple of years every single day were not excuses because uh, people could not do it; were excuses because they don't appreciate life. They don't appreciate what they have. They think um, there is always a better way, uh, but uh, they ne never do something about it so they can actually go that way. Uh, and by not appreciating life, they always give up. So guys, maybe the most important secret that somebody is going to, to teach you, uh, maybe the key of success, maybe the foundation of, of your goals, uh, of a happy life, foundation of a good family, to build a good family. I don't know, basic 101, the most important rule is appreciate life. In the moment when we think we have uh, too much, when you think we deserve too much, uh, when God is to blame for our unluck, when you believe in unluck, that means you do not appreciate life. You don't appreciate what you have. You don't appreciate what is on your table at this moment, because believe me, it can be worse, a lot worse. Uh, having no house, uh, sleeping on the beach, uh, eating bad food, uh, becoming a part of a system uh, that actually doesn't give a shit about you uh, means a lot worse. I've been there, I spent a week there, I, I saw what a lot worse mean. Uh, and believe me when I tell you, it doesn't matter how happy are you at this moment at your workplace? It doesn't matter uh, how much shit you did so the loved ones uh, at the moment don't appreciate you. It doesn't matter how big of your dreams uh, you have and you think you'll never achieve them or other stuff like this. It can be worse. My advice to you right now is take a moment, search on internet those kind of countries. Sierra Leone, I don't know, Ghana, Nigeria, and maybe smaller countries from Africa, from Asia, from South America, and see how the people live there. Um, if you even take it, once, take it one step further, take a trip there. Take three, four days, go in a country like this. Uh, it do, you don't have to go in the worst places. You can go to a nice hotel, you know, safe hotel and stuff like this. But take a trip. And, and see for yourself with your own eyes what worse means and that will definitely make you understand that the only reason why you never fought, you never gave everything, you always found excuses, is because you don't appreciate life. The conditions that you have right now, uh, the workplace that you have right now, the, the dreams that you're trying to build, the people around you, they're all here because, not because you deserve them, but because the condition in which you grew uh, and the, 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 how is it called, the circle in which you grew made them possible. 
maybe your college, maybe um, high school, maybe, I don't know, friends or family and stuff like this. Uh, your higher education, your parents' uh, desire for you to uh, work in a good workplace, all this stuff brought you in this moment. But you can do a lot more. You can achieve everything. You can uh, help others around you. Because one of the topics that I talked to those guys that I mentioned earlier was exactly this. To understand how bad the situation there is, uh, people throw everything on the street. You don't have garbage there. It's, it's just on the street. Everybody throws everything. And at one point we went, uh, went on the beach and when we wanted to get home, go home, everybody stood up and left. And I was the only one cleaning. And one of the guys there said, hey buddy, why are you cleaning? I said, yeah, it's my mess, I have to clean it. He said, no, here we have people that come and clean after you. And I said, bro, nobody cleans after you. I saw what is going on, I saw how the streets look, I saw uh, mountains of gar garbage in the middle of the city. Nobody is going to clean after you. Even if they do, they will throw it 10 meters away. He said, it's my responsibility to, to clean whatever I fucked up. And when he saw that, for him, a guy uh, that came 5,000 kilometers away to come and clean his own mess uh, make a, made an impact on him and he started cleaning with me. When uh, the people on the right side, other table on the right side from us saw that they were cleaning, they stood up and started cleaning as well. So after we were all done, we went to, went to the car to go home and the guy that helped me, me clean said, I can uh, believe that those uh, people in the right uh, side uh, started cleaning as, as well. It was a surprise to see something like this happens because never, never uh, these kind of things happen here. And I said, Abdullah, everything starts with you. It's your responsibility to appreciate what you have. And said, what do you mean? And I said, it, it's not about politics, it's not about uh, money, it's not about your lifestyle, it's about your cultural education. It's about how you deal with every single day uh, situation and every single change starts with you. So if you appreciate what you have, if you appreciate every single day, if you appreciate your life, it is your responsibility to do more than others. And when you do so, others will follow because people follow people. First rule of, of sales. People follow people. The same is in life. If anybody else sees you doing this, if you teach your kids to do this, if you teach your friends to do this, if you show them by example how to do this, they will do it and they will spread the word. So the change starts with you. This is really important. This is why it's really important to understand that everything starts with you. From every single small, smallest step that you can take that you don't find uh, uh, interesting, that you don't find it uh, uh, important, believe me, if it's the right step, people that will see you will do the same and you will make a change in everybody else's life. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe it will take a year, maybe it will take five, but in five years if you manage to change ten people around you and they manage to change ten people around them and those people try manage to change ten people, Imagine how many people will have a better, better perspective on life. How many uh, people will appreciate what they have. Just imagine the big wave that is going to come after this. Guys, I hope you understood uh, what I wanted to transmit here. Um, it was a life-changing experience, the trip there. Uh, I wanted to, to tell you about this. I wanted to share a little bit of what's going on um, more than what we see, more than our limits, because it is really important to understand that a couple of things uh, in our lives um, will always, always uh, make a difference around us, even if we don't think so. The small things are usually those things that will explode and make a wave around you. So. Appreciate life more. Give 100% every day to be a better person. Uh, give your, your, yourself a chance not to accept apologies from others and to find your own solution, to find your own path. Because, as I told you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how bad you think your situation is now. Believe me, 
it can be a hundred times worse and people people out there that is Sierra Leone or other countries do already live in it and they already make the most of the poor situation that they have trying to become a better person so if they do it I have one question at the end of this premiere for you what excuse do you have not to make it please tell me and if you have a good excuse I promise I will look in the comments and I will reply to you as a personal really personal how you can fix the situation because I'm almost certain I already went through it in my journey to get here I'm almost certain I went through it so guys if you have a situation that you cannot at the moment overpass write us in the comment and I will personally answer you to how I did to overcome such a situation or a situation similar to your situation okay thank you guys I hope you understood the mission uh, the message uh, give everything appreciate life and everything everything that you dream of will be possible believe me have a nice weekend have a hustle weekend and see you in two weeks bye bye